What's up guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you something that may be lowering your testosterone and actually making you less attractive and just like making you sick. And that's the thing, on this channel, maybe it sounds hippie, maybe it sounds weird, but I'm dedicated to sharing the best advice with you guys. If it's dumbing you down, making you less, you know, making you go unconscious, making you sick, making you lose some gains, Dude, I'm gonna tell you what's up. So we're gonna run a little experiment for the next 30 days. And I have to tell you guys, I've been using this deodorant for years. Not this exact kind, but you know, Old Spice, check it out. Everyone's probably used Old Spice. And the thing about this is, is it has a lot of aluminum and it has a bunch of fragrances that aren't natural. And the thing about aluminum, it's a metal, so it goes in there and clogs up. And we know that aluminum's not good for us. It can cause cancer. Alzheimer's and like literally like all this stuff and the different laundry list of chemicals in there can lower testosterone and just mess you up and that actually accumulates inside of you and so another thing you might think too like all oh, these yellow stains under my white shirts dude that's from the aluminum that's not just sweat so here's the thing you're putting this stuff on and what it's doing is actually blocking your natural scent your pheromones that are supposed to attract the ladies, the females, you know what I'm saying? And it's weird, the whole reason I'm making this video is because my girlfriend decided to do a detox. And she was reading these studies about detoxing, it takes about a week to 30 days. And at first, she did have a little bit more of a, a pungent smell to her. And I'm like, baby, you sure about this? And she's like, yeah, I'm gonna keep going. I'm like, all right. And what ended up happening is, instead of smelling like this fake man-made artificial scent that was coming off of her from these products after turning to a natural route what i would i would say is like she smelled so good like her natural scent was so alluring so dude it made me like go nuts is all i can say if you know what i mean so i'm telling you guys this was like damn this that one thing I want to try it out for myself because I know I should not be putting all this stuff in to my body. I, it, you know, it's habitual at this point. I just do it daily without even thinking about it. And I think we have to be careful because there's products that we use every day. Think about it. Toothpaste, water, deodorant. We don't even think about the stuff. We've been using them for years. Are they dumbing us down? Well, let me tell you. Water and toothpaste have sodium fluoride. Sodium fluoride has been shown to calcify the third eye, also known as the pineal gland, all right? And this is real stuff, I'm not making this up. And uh, dude, I think that we need to be on guard at what we're putting in our bodies. And you guys don't think that this is affecting us deeper? If you put a nicotine patch on your skin, the body absorbs it. If you put testosterone cream on your skin, the body absorbs it. It goes into you. The skin can can uh, suck things into it. So you're putting on your underarms. You better believe that it's going into you and it, it's doing something. So a, a buildup of aluminum in your brain? No thanks, man. I don't want that. So let me show you guys. I was using this. For the next 30 days, I'm going to switch to this stuff. And this is called Stink Bug Naturals. It is a vanilla, mint, and charcoal scent. It actually has charcoal in it, um, stuff like coconut oil, um, some a bunch of natural fragrance, okay? And it smells very nice. It reminds me of a certain type of like uh, mint chocolate bar. And it's so, actually smells freaking great, okay? I got this for about four bucks at Walmart. And there's a couple different natural brands, Tom's, and a couple of other names I forgot, but I'm gonna give this a shot, try it out. Guys, look, let's do it. We could do it for at least a week, see how it treats us. If we smell really bad, then you know, you, you know, maybe go back. Tr find something that's a little more natural, not the, not the name brand, you know, Axe, Dove, Old Spice. Let's get away from those guys. Even the Gillette stuff, you know what I'm saying? Remember that Gillette commercial? But uh, yeah, man. I think we need to be on guard with this stuff. We need to take action. You don't want to lower your testosterone. You don't want to block your natural pheromones and you don't want to pump your body full, 
full with all these chemicals. So let's make the switch. I'll talk to you guys soon and I'll keep you updated. Peace.